So what's going on guys, it's JMSP Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click onto any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So with the news that Dillian White has pulled out of his upcoming fight with Marius Wack on June the 3rd at the O2 Arena, it's got a lot of fans thinking because Derek Zora has recently pulled out of his May 27th fight against... Finnish heavyweight Robert Hellenius in Helsinki in Finland. So, Derek Chisora recently did an interview as well saying that he's ready to face Dillian White in July because the Hellenius fight is being pushed back and he's saying he's ready to face White in July in a rematch and Eddie Hearn, the promoter of Dillian White, is now saying that Dillian White will be back in July so as fast car Eddie worked his magic again here, has he somehow managed to get this fight together and getting rid of the other fights, well, the Dillian White, Marius Swack fight, and has he persuaded Cali Sowland to shut the door on the Derek Chisora, Robert Hellenius fight until after the summer, like has he told Sowland to push this back so he can get Chisora and White on again in a big fight night in July? Like, it could happen, it is boxing, I've seen stranger things happen in boxing. And I do really want to see this Derek Chisora Dillian White rematch because the first fight was so great, it lived up to every minute of the hype. Like, the build up to this fight was crazy, we had guys throwing bottles, you had guys flinging tables, you had who's a donkey and you're a goat from Derek Chisora. Like... When the fight actually happened, both guys just went in there full of emotion and just had it in the middle of the ring for 12 rounds, swinging at each other, both guys getting lit up in the fight. And it was a very close fight. A lot of people thought Derek Zazora did enough to win, but Dillian White got the nod, he won the split decision. And I'll be very interested to see what happens in the rematch because the first fight, a lot of people had doubts that Dillian White won it because they thought Zazora had it so... We need to have a convincing winner in the second fight. And I always thought this rematch was going to happen anyway. And if it does happen, I won't be too shocked because there's a lot of money in this fight. And we all know Derek Zazora loves a bit of the green. He loves a bit of the moolah. He loves a bit of the cash. Show me the money. Derek Zazora, that's the kind of fighter he is. Derek Zazora doesn't give a shit about belts or anything like that. He just wants to make money. That's all he's in the game for, money. And Dillian White, obviously... With people saying, oh, he never beat Tazora, you never beat Tazora. That will be in the back of his mind. He'll want to convincingly beat Derek Tazora. So he's thinking, if I can get this fight in July with Tazora, I'm going to take it. So yeah, comment below in the comment section what you guys think of this. I'm hoping this fight happens in July. But if not, then we just go on and just see who each other faces. Then Derek Tazora will probably face Hellenius later on in the year. And... Dillian White will probably fight face whack eventually or fight another top contender in the heavyweight division before possibly fighting for a world title. So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's